Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $97,800.47. In the past year, I am up $40,784.06. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $10,587.01. Today was a green day for me. I was up $1,465.26 during the day. After hours, I am up $367.67. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I am selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return $873. I'm selling Disney $120 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return $30. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $986. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $575. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $336. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $58.20. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, I am down $68. I'm selling Google $180 covered call. This expires July 19. Total return, $216. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $186.59. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $26,295.93. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.12. My average cost, $5.62 Total return $8,980.20 I have 300 shares of Disney Disney is at $105.74 My average cost $60 Total return $13,722 I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood Robinhood is at $16.99. My average cost, $17.53. Total return, I am down $525. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $168.97. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $2,000. $649. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, I am down $15. 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $63.98. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,256. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $40.55. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $248.10. This is a margin account. My margin total is 
$575.99. My margin used is $97,584.45, which leaves me with $12,991.54 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $47,000. $852.98. That's this green buffer right here before I hit my margin call. My annual interest rate is 8%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $21.51. So the big news today is actually about a stock that I do not own in my portfolio right now. I actually made a bearish play on this stock a couple of years ago. And that was when I gained a bunch of subscribers and watch hours and I was able to monetize my channel and some of my videos became very popular at the time. So in a way, I have this stock to thank for the success of my channel, at least in the beginning. And that stock is GameStop. As we can see here, there's a message on top that says this stock has recently experienced elevated volatility today GameStop during the day it was up 74.42% and after hours it's still going up it's up 27.47% after hours here's an article on Yahoo Finance about it GameStop stock GME soared as much as 110% Monday before pairing gains and it was halted for volatility numerous times after Roaring Kitty, the person who was seen as the Kickstarter of the meme stock frenzy during the pandemic, posted online for the first time since 2021. The stock crossed above $30 per share on Monday to close up 75%. Shares had been on an upward trend, rising about 60% over the past two weeks. Roaring Kitty, who was identified that year as Keith Gill, became a prominent figure on the Wall Street Bets subreddit and YouTube for his bullish stance on GameStop. Sunday's post on X, formerly known as Twitter, included a meme of a video gamer leaning forward, appearing to take the game seriously. The post received more than 81,000 likes and 9,000 comments. The last time Roaring Kitty posted on X was in June 2021. He was known for posting commentary about why GameStop would go higher and eventually testified before Congress about the massive January 2021 short squeeze spurred by an army of retail traders. This is the post of the gamer leaning forward in the chair. Short interest on GameStop sits at around 24% of the float, according to S3 Partners data. Including today's losses, GME shorts are now down $1.34 billion in May month-to-date losses, and now down $952 million for the year. Ihor Dusanuski, managing director of S3 Partners, told Yahoo Finance on Monday. Monday's short squeeze follows a recent rally in meme-related stocks. Theater chain operator AMC gained as much as 50% during the session, while Trump Media and Technology DJT, gained 8%. Short sellers may be in for a bumpy and bloody ride in these stocks, says Dusanuski. As Yahoo Finance's Jared Blicker recently noted, the recent meme stock surge doesn't appear to be the ominous signal it has been in the past, but rather a healthy risk appetite for investments. Wow, so it's starting again. Roaring Kitty has made an appearance on Twitter, aka X, and people are going crazy. So I don't know if the meme stock craze is back, but at least for today, GameStop it's up by a lot, over 100% in one single day. That's crazy. But you know what? Even though it is up over 100% today, I still think that it can go even higher than this because 
if we look at what happened during the initial squeeze, let's see, it was around $81. And right now it sits at around 41. So who knows? I wouldn't be surprised if it keeps on going higher from here. Now, as for me personally, am I going to make a play on this? I don't know about that. Maybe if it hits 81 again, I'll do a bearish play. But for now, I'm just going to stay away from this. All right, that's pretty much it for my portfolio update. Thank you so much for watching. I'll keep on making more updates. So if you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.